Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown, and uh, today we're going to take a quick look into overclocking your notebook monitor. Uh, after my last review of the Acer 17X, a number of people asked me how did I overclock it from 75 hertz to 100 hertz, and you may ask yourself, you know, why bother? And uh, well, this does have a G-Sync panel, but G-Sync does come at a cost. It is quite expensive, uh, so you may have a notebook that doesn't have G-Sync, and overclocking it will help uh, reduce screen tearing and helps uh, making uh, moving windows around and your, your mouse moving around a lot smoother. So it's, it's worth looking at, and it's certainly very, uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and it's easy to do. Um, particularly, you know, if you've got an NVIDIA chip, and most gaming notebooks nowadays do have that, you can use the NVIDIA control panel. So you open up NVIDIA control panel and click on change resolution. As you can see, the uh, default desktop pair resolution is 1920 by 1080 uh, with the uh, 75 hertz. So you click on customize, then create uh, custom resolution. And as you can see, we've got 1920 by 1080. Um, so we um, want to increase the refresh rate up to say 80. Keep it on progressive. Click test, the screen will flash and you click yes, okay. And there you see it. Now you'll see that we've got a custom resolution there in the field. So click that and you'll see it, uh, the refresh rate of 80 hertz is there. Click apply, the screen will flash, will flash again. And there you've got it set. Next is to uh, see about testing it. Now test UFO has an excellent utility to see if your overclock was successful. Um, don't use it in the Edge browser, use it in Chrome here and it should work. And uh, as you can see at the bottom, it's got uh, 80 FPS and uh, 80 hertz and it's a valid result. But just because uh, it's a valid uh, overclock, you might be getting skipped frames. So take a photograph using a cell phone, using a low ISO setting like uh, I use 50. Uh, take a photograph of the uh, white dot uh, going around the screen there. And uh, if you get a series of solid uh, white squares, you're good. But if you do get a black square in the middle, then you've missed a, uh, you've missed a frame. There are other tests you can do, um, such as this one with a spaceship whizzing across the screen. Um, it confirms whether it's valid again, and also the clock speed. And there's other tests as well, such as a scrolling uh, text screen, such as this, which again confirms whether the overclock is valid or not. Now we'll create another custom resolution. And uh, this time we uh, know that uh, 100 hertz uh, was uh, okay, but normally you'd increase it in 5 hertz increments and uh, and do the testing but I say I know 100 works fine so let's have a look at that click yes screen will flash okay and then you go pick uh, pick your, your, your frequency there we go pick that and click apply click yes and we should be good to go then there you go so we need to check to see if the overclock is valid and indeed it is um, showing the 100 hertz and next is to see if we are getting any uh, skipped frames at all. So uh, again, we'll look at this test. It is a valid valid overclock. Take a photograph and see if you get any skipped frames. If you have an AMD or Intel card, you can use the custom resolution utility downloading it uh, from this site. And uh, you would uh, click on the uh, download there, the zip file, and install it. So once you've extracted it, click on the application. And there you have it, all the different uh, resolutions, or you can create your own custom one with custom refresh rates. Now, one important thing is that you must be plugged into your power supply um, to have a valid overclock, as you can see here. Um, I will unplug it, and we'll see what happens. Again, we'll do the uh, test and see what uh, what we get. Now, automatically, we've got 62 FPS there, and the, the, it's uh, syncing with the browser, trying to get a valid result. So we get a valid result, but the frequency is wrong there. It says 60, 61 hertz. So there you see, we do get a uh, performance warning, some error. So let's uh, do the uh, scroll test, see what we get here. Yep. So we get sync failure there, and it uh, gives a big question mark for the uh, frequency. So I'll uh, plug it back in, let's see what we get. And there you go, a valid result once more.
Next, we want to see if the increased refresh rate is available in the game. So let's take a look. There you go. 100 hertz is available. You click apply and you're good to go. Well, I hope you found that uh, quite useful. And uh, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.